Two of three agents here. Blueberry muffins, of course, iconic laksa. Today is actually chili fried rice and wings. Pasta, I have no idea. Looks actually really good. This is siu mai and hang ao. Oh my gosh, there's chapati today. This is some vegetarian rice, some Indian curry. Good morning! Okay, so it's day one Bali. We are staying in this place called Akasha, a boutique villa. It's kind of like a mini villa where everybody opens up to this common pool. Honestly, it's very small, which I quite like because I only spend about 150 sing per night over here. I think for Bali, it's, I would say, like a fairly steeper price to pay. But 150 is really, really, really quite little already. Lah. So, yeah. Anyway, um, it's located in Seminyak. And we are on our way to Tanggu because I wanted to try this cafe out called Copenhagen. I saw on TikTok that people were fighting like at this cafe trying to get seats. So it must be good because my friend who lives in Bali, who is getting married here, Jocelyn, um, also said that this, um, Copenhagen is one of her favorite cafes. So hopefully it lives up to the hype. Two of three Asians here. Really the whole place is filled with Angmo. So I guess it's a very touristy area. Um, food does take a while. We waited about 20 minutes for the food. Okay, our whole time here. 20 minutes later. Everything else is finished. Hello. He left. Breakfast is served. No, is that an insect? Should I still drink it? This is my arsenal. Cleanse with bioderma, then go in with the lab. Sometimes I use this as a mask or a toner pad when I'm lazy. Then I'll spray a SK2 Midday Miracle Essence. Go in with the Hyaluronic Acid Toner, a few layers. And then I will do um, eye cream from Connolly. This is the prebiotic Sera cream. Sometimes I use this first before the Claire de Peau, depending on how dry my skin is. Then I'm going with the sun essence. Over here, I've got quick sun stick for my body. And to refresh everything, prebiotic Sera cream mist. This is for my scalp. Um, a cafe that was recommended by a lot of my followers. You can tell who because there are a lot of Singaporeans in here. Anyway, the space is very crowded. But it's a Saturday, maybe that's why. But uh, they are famous for bakes and breakfast. 
but because we already had breakfast this morning, we thought we would just eat something different. Because every single day we have just been eating like eggs and bacon and sourdough, so we are a bit sick of it. So uh, I saw that they had croissants, so I got a croissant as well as a gruyere ham and cheese uh, pan, which is a pastry. Matt got an ice chocolate and I got ice on bread. So verdict is. Verdict? Yours nicer. What's yours? The ham one is nicer. Yeah, how many upon 10? 5 upon 10. Wow, then this? 4 upon 10. I bet to differ. I don't think this is a horrible croissant. It's just a little bit disappointing because the lamination is really good. It's flaky, it's not too oily, it's huge and fluffy, but the, the taste is not really there. And this? Okay, I'm gonna rate it uh, 0.5 on 10. <laughs> okay, but my coffee is not too bad. This is a 7.5 on 10. Not bad, but it's not cheap actually. This is, yeah. Our friend recommended Rivera as his favorite Italian place in Bali. So we came here three o'clock almost. There's absolutely nobody, which is great. Uh, but they also changed the menu. So unfortunately, the lobster one that we saw online that everyone raved about is not available anymore. Anyway, show you guys my new nails. It's actually pretty pricey. Like out of all the places that I just randomly walked in, um, this is thirty six. Just for a normal, like, classic many. But, it's okay, I guess I felt like I can bring myself in in Singapore. I have no time to do it anyway. <laughs> Paraka is so good. Very, very creamy and I really like roasted peppers. The grilled uh, squid is also really nice. Very, very chewy, fresh. And it's kind of like basted in this olive oil, parsley, garlic, garlic. Is it garlic? Garlic infused, la. but I don't see any garlic pieces at all. <laughs> so you get four kinds of bread Indonesian bread, gluten free bread This is some sort of white bread, it's a pretzel You get two types of butter French butter and I think this is like a cream cream Father's Day. Thank you. How do you feel about your first Father's Day? I feel happy. And we miss Michael. It's okay. We'll see him tomorrow. <laughs> so we ordered the dark coffee. Not sure how it's gonna be like, but I had booked this restaurant a few weeks ago. Um, it's Indonesian food. So yeah, let's dig in. This is Baramandi. Cabbage, chicken and rice. Lunch was actually really nice. Of course, it's not the most affordable. And like this is a very touristy spot, but 
Um, I just want a place that has nice views, nice vibes, a place where I know I can definitely get good food. That's so funny. So then it was Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and then they wrote happy anniversary. I guess that works too. It's really really nice gesture of them anyway. Touchdown! So that was Bali. I can't wait to go home to see my baby. It is currently 1am and he is obviously asleep but I guess I'm still gonna wake him up <laughs> or I'll just stand at the side and just watch him. This trip was pretty fun, tiring but fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!